Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here. We have a very special guest in the office today. This is Michael Singh. Hi. Machination Studio. Yeah. How are you doing, Michael? Hi, hi. Good. I'm good. First time in San Francisco. Oh my god. It. Yeah, so we met you last year at New York Comic Con yep. where you chatted with Adam and he'd actually met you at TED in Vancouver. Yep. You did a TED talk where you talked about making the ultimate toy, <laughs> right? Yeah. Your your 3D printed, 3D uh, CAD designed, uh, large scale toy, yep. which you then ran a Kickstarter and turned into the codename Colossus yep. Mark I. Yeah. And we were huge fans of that codename Thank Colossus. You. We actually built one in our studio. Yep. Sean and Jeremy added some smoke and sound effects to it. And now you've brought here your new prototype of your second Kickstarter yep. in the same family. Tell me about this Mac. Right, so this is uh, the first uh, Mac of the uh, kind of uh, the opposition force, the enemy force of uh, of the British that was uh, featured in the in the last Kickstarter. So um, this is called the Schnauzer. It is a smaller light tank version of of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of of the Walkers. And um, so this is the 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 style is uh, different because uh, as you remember from last year, uh, it was more like a cylindrical style or a curved style um, for the. The German, the Imperial German tanks, I, I, designed, I decided on a very angular, angular design, and I, I guess uh, um, history buffs will see a little bit of the uh, A7V and a little bit of the uh, um, of the uh, Panzer ones in in, in 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 the design. The angular design is is lovely, and I love the, these panels, which you have like very distinct, very uh, profound rivets yeah. all around the outside, which read really well, but also when the light bounces on it, they read as different shades. Yeah. So it has that dimensionality to it. Uh, there's so much detail here. This is, am I to understand, the only prototype in the yep. world right now? <laughs> you brought the, the one prototype. Yep. And how did you go about designing this? So you had the whole experience of making yep. your large Colossus, your mass-produced Colossus. You know, what was your goal and, and your design approach? Right, so when I, when I built my, my large one, I had 12 servos um, to power the legs. And uh, when I built the Kickstarter, I tried to reduce the, mount, the number of servos down to three servos. And for this one, this is a completely new approach altogether. This is run on one single geared motor. Wow. So the entire walking mechanism and the gun movement are all around a geared system and a gear and cam system. So this is a lot more mechanical in nature. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, um, well, I guess, reduce the amount of uh, uh, electronic parts that's, mm -hmm. that's involved. Um, but you know, try to try to still have enough movement um, using gears and, and, and cams. Yeah, and I'm going to ask you to turn it on in just a second <laughs> because in the codename Colossus, yes, you had six legs which yep. were on three different axes, yep. uh, which did a, a forward walking motion. You also had an array of machine guns yep. that had on, on like a rattle yeah. system, yep. right? And then a rotating turrets, and you're seeing all of that similar type of movement yep. gets reduced down to. One t one motion. One single one single motor. Yeah. Wow! Can, can we turn it on? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's of course a little arm that's pushing right this uh, this cannon in and mm -hmm. out. Uh, there's a crown gear of a main gear that's uh, turning the. Uh, Yep, the Gatling the gun. The Gatling gun. And there are, there are cams that is actually pushing the legs up and down and moving the four leg assembly front and back. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, but it took me it took me many weeks of prototyping. I I, I mean if you, if you if you see my Instagram feeds so you'll see many um, failed attempts at trying to get this mechanism to work. Wow. Well, yeah. And I love that lumbering motion too. <laughs> yeah. Right? Even with all, like, it's it's not supposed to be a very smooth, elegant movement. Yeah. It's it, it does like, feels like it's crawling across yeah. the battlefield. Uh, lots of beautiful detail and weathering. You have ladders on the side yeah. here. I love just the, the, like the steampunk look of it. Um, it's all in the same universe. Yeah. Is the idea that you're going to continue designing toys and, and mechs from this alternate reality war? Yeah, that, that that's the plan. I'm 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 hoping that uh, this will be kind of uh, the start of, of being able to make more of more toys of 
both of this size and of, of, of the, the other size, which is the uh, the one I did last year, which is slightly bigger. Right, so they're different yeah. scale. They're different. Well, they're, they're in the same universe, so it's like a heavy tank and a light tank. Oh, right? got so it, this got is it. more like a, sort of a scouting sort of oh, tank. So this is, okay. I guess, like the the ATST sort of thing compared to uh, the larger oh, tanks. Right. right. So so it's a, it's it's it's. Yeah, that's that, that's that's the plan, and um, introducing new uh, factions into into the universe as well. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Now you're still running a Kickstarter, <laughs> but you're yep. also partnering with a toy maker, Mighty Jacks, yes. and they they've a um, producer of wonderful toys that we're yep. big fans of. Does that mean that your manufacturing process is also going to change? Uh, you're not selling just 3D printed. Kits. Yeah, yeah. You're going for something more more finished this time. Yes. So this time around, we because of the gearing mechanism, we have to have a much more robust uh, plastic. So we, we are we are aiming for uh, plastic injection molding. Oh. So so these will be plastic plastic injection ABS. Um, probably probably uh, similar to what you get in in in, in model kits and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And uh, that will give us a, more, a lot more stability in terms of dimensions and stuff like that, which resin casts can't really give us at, the, at this point. So yeah, that's the plan. And uh, but of course, the the other side of injection molding is that you we need a much larger volume to yeah. uh, pay for the molds because they, they cost quite the a bit more. Tooling is which expensive. is why we we're, we're going down to Kickstarter and we'll just see how it goes because uh, everything is you know no one's tried something like this before, and um, you know um, a lot of companies that 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 go towards robotics, they tend to have a very large team uh, or, or, or um, pretty big uh, factories behind them. And, and, and yeah, we're, this is... Uh, Machination Studio yeah. is you. <laughs> yeah, you are the me. studio, <laughs> right? You're prototyping, yeah. you're painting. Yep. Now, are, are these still going to be released as a similar version that's going to be a kit form or different versions if someone wants a more finished version versus something that maybe they can add their own coloring, detailing, or, or put together? Or is it going to be one... Be uh, one, yeah. one release because of the uh, manufacturing process, uh, we decided to simplify it. We mm. were having this in two two different colors. Mm -hmm. So this light green one is a um, border patrol color, mm -hmm. and we'll also be having one in a dark gray, which is kind of the Imperial Guard version of of, of this tank. So it'll be two colored versions. Um, well, at least that's the plan for the Kickstarter. Uh, that's that's what we are we're aiming for at the at this point. I mean, it seems like the technical challenge you took on this time was how to get all the movements in one motor, yeah. simplifying that, yeah. uh, which actually increases the complexity yeah. of your design and also this new form factor and new manufacturing yeah. process. What are the other technical challenges you want to tackle with, with your future designs? Is your goal to add more and more functionality or just how do you bring these more to life? I think that's, that's always the, um, the, the challenge, right? The more the more movement you have, you either add more motors mm -hmm. or you add more gears. Right. Right. And um, and it, I think a big part of it is uh, can I do all of that and still run on AA batteries? Mm -hmm. Because I, I think I think once I have to step into lithium poly batteries and stuff like that, it starts to get a little bit too complicated. So I I, I like the fact that they're running on on, on double A's, uh, which is pretty much available anywhere on Earth. Uh, and and. I think that's that's the key thing is is, is just the balance between um, how much electronics and how much uh, um, gearing. I guess you guys are very familiar when you have a uh, microcontroller in there. I end up having to have two different voltages, mm -hmm. one for the microcontroller and one for the uh, the motors yeah, and yeah. servos. So that becomes another complication, which is why I was I was thinking, hey, can I can I solve this problem with gears? Um, but who knows? I might, I might, I might think about microcontrollers again because now that I look at it, it's like, hmm, wouldn't it be nice to have an <laughs> Android app that uh, you know just makes this move forward or backwards? So, so that's um, that's something I'm 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 trying to learn. <laughs> what yet one more thing I'm trying to figure out is uh, can I make a little app that can control these things? And that really is your whole story. <laughs> you went from being a fan of wanting a toy that did yeah. not exist to learning all the ways yeah. in which to make that a reality yeah. and now sharing that with the world so people like me can have one of these on our desk. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Michael, Thank for coming you. by and sharing with us your new Mac, your new Kickstarter project. You'll be at DesignerCon yes. uh, and the Kickstarter is running now with we'll links below and people can always follow yep. you on social media yep. to follow your progress. Yeah, Machination Studio. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank pleasure. you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.